What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making a homemade lure. I got my tackle box. A pair of scissors to shut the... The, uh... Packs of baits, but... I think I'm gonna throw... These, uh... Curly... Curl tails? I forget what they're called, but... I think they're called curl tails. Curl tail, yeah. So, see you when I get these open. Actually, you want to say hi? Say hi. Sorted. We're back. I got it. It's actually pretty big. Dashi, don't. But at the bottom, it's not that big. Come on, Dash. Get out of here, bro. So, I think I'm about to cut it right there. Actually, cut it down here. Yeah, I'll get you guys when I do that. Yeah, that's more like it, bro. I'll see you guys when you get the, when I get the hook in. Here, or no? Rigged. Okay, now she stop. Hey yo. Now we have this left over, so I think I might actually wacky her like that. That looks like a miniature wacky worm. I'll see you guys when I come up on the next one. So my buddy said these on one of these frog lures, these don't work as good. That should go away before I get hooked. Because I don't want to get him hooked by them. Them sucks. He said, cut them at an angle. So, I'll try it. Meet you guys when I'm done. Oh, it's gone. Well, that's what I got. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I'll make more action because the other ones just sat there. These ones I think will flap more. Now I'm bored and I don't know what to make, so I'm going to show you guys all of my lures. Yeah. A lot of them are actually rusty, but I'm start out with my first one. This is my one of my pike ones. I forget what it's called, but it's actually a nice lure. It's all like a jerk bait. Dashi, get out of my tackle box. This I don't know why, but it's in it's my mom's pike bait. That works pretty good. This is another one I have. Another one. I don't think I'm going to use this one because I just need to repair the hooks. Look at those things, bro. Rusty. Rusty, rusty. I actually found this one. Yeah, it's like one of them moving ones. It's actually good because it goes like a lot of action with it. Now we're moving down to my worms. So we got, uh, I forget what these are called, but we got these, I have two of these. This wacky worm, blue, 
or put a block for it. Well, I can't tell. And then I have these orange, like, watermelon and pumpkin mixed together. Wacky rooms. And then I got some of these wacky rooms. It's, like, weird because it's fat on top, gets skinny towards the bottom, and then gets fat again up right here. And then we have the one that I cut. A beetle. How she go? Yeah. Go, how she go? And then I have these uh, black curl tails. Now moving on to the, uh, I got some line here, just 10 pound, that kind of line. And then this is about probably the most craziest thing you've ever seen. My little box is full of water, but it's a homemade shark lure. It's actually pretty insane. Now moving on to the top lures. You got this nice crankbait. This is for like perch and stuff, panfish and trout. I use this in my brook, but it's like a baby perch. I got a nice little popper. I got this little spinner. I got this frog that is cut. And then a spoon I found at Lake Champlain. It's pretty cool. It's pretty much it. What's in my tap box? Don't have that much stuff. That's it for the video. Like, subscribe. Yeah.